Hi, Ellen Bracken here. In today's video, if you want to know if you can make money on Quora as a beginner, well, the short answer is yes. However, there are different options available. So I went out and I did some research and I'm going to share the different options that might be best suited for a beginner and then maybe some alternatives as well. I'll share some free resources that you can look into more. And I'm also going to share my final thoughts on whether Quora is the best option as a beginner. And before we dive right in, make sure you go hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. I share honest information on what I learned along the way in my affiliate marketing journey and hopefully then you'll be able to make the right decisions for you and your business. All right, so I'm logged inside Quora right now. Once you sign up for your free account, you can go to your profile settings. Right in here, you can fill in a section here about who you are, what services you offer, and how you can help people. So people get to know exactly what you offer. And then obviously your profile picture. On the right hand side, you can fill in your history of credentials, educational, and employment. The more information you can fill in right here, the better. Now at the minute, I only have my profile picture in here and there's a reason for that. And I'll explain this more as we go throughout the video as to why I'm not focusing specifically on Quora. Here's an article I found on Buffer.com, a beginner's guide to Quora, the most helpful uses for marketers. In step one of this article, it says create your optimal Quora profile. So this walks you through the best practices so that you can get started on the right foot. I'll leave a link to this article down below in the description and all other references I leave in the video, I'll leave in the description also. And you might be wondering, is Quora even worth considering? Well, it is because it is so huge. There are so many different niches within Quora that you can work with. Here are the top 10. So we have technology, movies, health, food, science, music, books, visiting and traveling, business and psychology. There are millions, millions of followers on Quora. But the question is, is it worth spending all your time and energy on Quora if you're only starting out or if you haven't even started yet? first one we'll take a look at is freelance work. We have platforms like Fiverr, we have People Per Hour and Upwork that you can easily get started on if you have a skill and then obviously use Quora to drive traffic to that offer. Quora is a questions and answers platform. The more you give quality answers to people's questions that's related to your niche, then you're going to build authority. And this does take time, but it is a strategy that works for a lot of people on Quora to build their brands. We'll give an example. Let's say we have a skill or you have a skill in Photoshop editing and you set up a profile on the likes of Fiverr and you don't want to rely on being on the first page of Fiverr as you see there's a lot of listings in this particular example but you want to drive traffic to your offer but even though it's not on the first page what you could do is go to Quora you could go to that particular niche in Quora ask the question relating to Photoshop so how to Photoshop and we have how to Photoshop an image you notice there's 14 answers here for this question and when we go through the actual answers you'll notice there's images it's lengthy very detailed answer on the right hand side here we have related questions so there's more questions that you'll be able to go and answer so how to insert an image on in photoshop there really is a never-ending amount of answers that you can give or value that you can give to build authority i created a diagram here just to illustrate what i'm talking about here so you're answering questions on quora you're given lots of value and over time your authority is going to build because you're given great valuable content Content. People are going to notice that and then they are some are going to come and visit your profile to see who you are. So as long as you have optimized your profile, some are then going to go on to whatever site you have your freelance work on and then go on to purchase whatever gig you have on these platforms. The positives of this method is the fact that you don't need to have a website. You don't need to have any sort of email set up, nothing like that. All you have to do is have your profile set up on the freelance website and you simply answer as many questions as you can and you will drive traffic eventually over time onto your offers. On Fiverr's blog here, the Freelancer Marketing Guide to Quora, part one, Quora, a quick introduction, part two, how to build trust, authority, and credibility as a Quora contributor, part three, selling yourself on Quora without selling out, part four, how to use Quora to grow your business. If this is something that you'd like to explore more or look into more, then take a read of this article. It's very useful if you want to get started on the likes of Fiverr. And the next way you can use Quora to drive traffic to your offers is affiliate marketing. And by the way, if you're interested in learning about affiliate marketing go check out the link in the description below it's going to bring you to this page right here you're going to get the first 12 steps completely free it's exactly how i started my business and i highly recommend it so go check it out there are lots of ways you can 
go about doing this for your affiliate marketing business, but you could use platforms like medium.com or blogger.com if you don't want to have your own website. Or you can go ahead and obviously have your own website on WordPress, for example. Or you could go the route of YouTube, like my channel here. You could set up a YouTube channel and promote affiliate links on your videos. I have another diagram here just to illustrate this process. We have exactly the same process when it comes to Quora. You have your profile set up and you have all your links and everything in your profile. You're answering questions in your niche. You drive traffic to your blogger.com, medium.com or WordPress website or your YouTube channel. For the likes of YouTube, medium.com and blogger, you are allowed to put affiliate links in your description of your articles or videos. However, it is better to have your own WordPress site, which brings me on to why I don't fully focus on Quora. I would highly suggest just select on one option. For me personally, it's YouTube. We'll take a look for some examples here on Quora on how people are using Quora to drive traffic to their affiliate offers or even their own products, but that's more advanced. So as a beginner standpoint, we'll focus on affiliate marketing. So we'll say what uh, we'll just put in email marketing and to answer questions that's most recent you can go down here and go for the past week so that it's not too old and then focus on answering these type of questions here why do you love affiliate marketing what is the best way to generate unlimited sales from affiliate marketing so we'll just click on this one and see what comes up someone might read this post and they actually like it and then they might go check out who they are go to their profile page just like i've shown you on this diagram but we'll scroll down and see if we can find anyone who uses their profile we'll check this guy out and here he has learn how to earn online visit 95 and it links us off onto his website this guy is actually quite active on quora he's got 1.1 million content views so 48,000 k this month so he's very very active on quora and he's using this platform in a serious way to drive traffic to his website now another option you have as a beginner is you can use Quora to drive traffic to your amazon kdp or amazon listings if you have a workout log gym book for example that you want to promote you can take a look at answering questions around the fitness industry same principles apply you answer your questions they come to your core profile check out who you are you have a link to your Amazon listing and then they go check it out and then they go on and purchase I asked a friend of mine Curry from Dream Creative B her thoughts on whether people use Quora to drive traffic to Amazon KDP listings. She knows a lot about this particular subject, so I highly suggest you go check out her channel. She did say that do people use Quora in this space to build their brands? However, they're more likely to use the platform like Pinterest. But again, it's something to consider. It's an idea. If you have any questions, I'm sure Curry will be delighted to help you out. And last but not least, we have Quora Partner Program. And how this works is Quora invites you to the partner program. And this only happens when you have a certain amount of valuable content out there and you're invited by them. There's no fixed time scale. There's no sort of targets you need to reach in order to apply for the program. You need to be invited. And there is a potential to earn a lot of money from Quora partner program. However, there has to be a lot of content out there and different answers have different payment levels. It says here the top 10 earner partners earned an average of 9,000 and asked 11,000 questions each. Now this is dated back in 2018. There's no more recent information as to what people are earning in 2021, but just to give you a guide of what you'd be talking about. The biggest advantage of this obviously is the fact that you don't have to have anything else apart from Quora in order to answer as many questions as you can if you have knowledge in a particular niche and simply just earn with the Quora Partner Program. However, the major pitfall with this is the fact that you're relying on Quora solely on its own in order to earn money online. If they go and change the rules that any point which can happen then it could impact the amount you earn Okay, onto Quora's best practices. First one we have is never post affiliate links in your answers. And what I mean here is direct affiliate links. So driving people directly to an affiliate offer. There are different spaces if you contribute enough, they do allow links out maybe to a blog post or to a YouTube channel. But I'd highly suggest that you just post valuable content and then people are going to come to you. Avoid posting massive amounts of content with the sole aim of promoting your own product. This goes against Quora's policy guidelines. And if they see that you're spamming, they will more than likely ban your account. Only post questions and answers that are genuinely helpful. And then be respectful. Don't be rude, disrespectful. Again, this could result in your account getting banned. Always attribute content from external sources to avoid plagiarism issues. So if you are using a reference from someone else's website, make sure that you attribute that content to the creator. And then finally, continuous violations will eventually get your account shut down. I leave a link in the description for the core policies and you can have a read through and know exactly how you stand when posting 
posting and answering questions on Quora. The benefits of using Quora as a beginner, you're going to get valuable insight into your audience's common questions. This can be a goldmine because you'll be able to see insights into what problems to face, which then you'll be able to go on and create content around these problems and build your brand that way. And the next benefit we have is Quora is free targeted traffic, which is suitable then for beginners because you're not spending any money on expensive ads when you're starting out. Third one here, practice answering questions and build confidence. If you're starting out in a niche, you may not know 100%, you'll be able to go through these questions and learn from others. The next one we have is learn more about your niche itself, which has a direct relation to answering questions yourself by practicing. You're gaining your authority, you're gaining your knowledge, and it'll give you some great ideas for your content. My overall thoughts of using Quora to earn money, well, I recommend it if you have loads of time in your hands and you are using this platform to answer valuable questions and you have the time to dedicate towards it. If you already have the foundations of your business set up, so whatever platform you want to grow your business on, I would just select the one. And then if you have that in place and you have a routine going, I consider Quora as an extra jigsaw puzzle that you're adding to your overall strategy. I wouldn't recommend this as a beginner if you're solely going on Quora specifically for the partner program. The Quora partner program is a great additional bonus once you're starting your business and you're gaining traction. You could be accepted to the Quora partner program by simply driving traffic to your offers. This will be just an additional bonus. So to sum up here, it is going to take time to grow. No matter what business model you choose, I personally believe Quora should not be your number one focus as a beginner. What I do recommend is you choose your niche. Then you start with one strategy, like I say, to grow your business, grow the foundation first. Give that 100% of your time and focus for at least six months. And once you have a solid structure, you have your routine in place, you know exactly what you're doing, then possibly implement an additional traffic source such as Quora. Now again, this is my personal opinion. I don't use Quora for this reason alone. I am focusing solely on YouTube and my email list. And I know down the road, I may actually start implementing additional strategies. But for the minute, I want to focus 100% on my YouTube channel. So that's my video on earning money from Quora. I hope you found it helpful. Maybe you got some ideas, some inspiration on how you want to move forward with your business. If you have any questions at all, leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you go check out these videos on screen. Subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification and I'll catch you on the next video.